Herzlich Willkommen zu einem neuen Video von mir. Heute geht es weiter mit Red Dead Redemption 2. Beim letzten Mal haben wir ja einen Brief bei Boy oder so abgeholt. Ich weiß gerade gar nicht mehr genau wie er heißt genau. Und es zu äh, Penelope gebracht, die ungefähr hier. Und die hat uns jetzt einen Brief gegeben beim letzten Mal, dass wir ihn wieder geben müssen. Und deswegen sind wir auch schon davor. Wir sind nicht fast dort. Würde ich sagen, versuchen wir mal reinzukommen. Perfekt. Wir dürfen rein. Denn irgendwo soll er hier sein. Wir haben ihn ja letztes Mal auch auf dem Hof gefunden. Irgendwo. Dann sollte er ja hier wieder sein. Mal gucken. Ist diesmal ein bisschen weiter. Ich glaube, der ist in der Scheune. Ja, genau. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh. I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me. I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Nope. Okay, mir ist gerade aufgefallen, warum auch immer, sind die Namen wieder beim Untertitel nicht an. Die mache ich ganz kurz an und dann geht's weiter. Jetzt nach Roads anscheinend. Äh, okay, mal gucken. Ich I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Ach, du Heilige, was ist da los? Oh, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob. We must begin. Leading me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Okay, we're going to have a protest. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the Moo 
movement. Oh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I'll be long. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies, get your Come on, come on. Go home. Shut your mouth. What the hell is going on? Well, man, oh my God, you're getting and cause all this trouble. You don't even know what you're doing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Oh. Mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. <laughs> Philosophy. Hey! What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help, Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Speak harsh about Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. Okay, die verfolgen uns weiter noch. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh Lord. Ja, wait, dann kommen wir halt nicht. So weg. Wir haben absolut keine Eile. Schön, ich steige ganz entspannt auf. In welche Richtung denn, Darling? Ist okay. Wie ist weg? Ich weiß nicht, wo mein primäre Konzern ist. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean? We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money, when my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, 
Okay. 30 Dollar haben wir bekommen. Naja, okay. Ich würde sagen, das hat auf jeden Fall sehr gut funktioniert. Super. Ich würde sagen, da können wir auch nochmal eine andere Mission machen. Schauen wir mal. Wir haben noch Molly hier. Die möchte noch mit uns sprechen. Und wir haben hier noch Dutch. Der. Mal schauen, was die wollen. Äh, Sheriff Gray hat Dutch und dich gebeten, zurückzukehren und euch, und euch mit ihm zu treffen. Ich glaube, wir sind ja sehr in der Nähe hier, oder? Genau, wir sind da. Ja gut, da könnten wir ja eigentlich dort einmal ganz kurz hin. Da machen wir das heute noch. Und dann würde ich sagen, wir sehen uns auf jeden Fall gleich wieder, wenn ich da bin. So, da sind wir auch schon. Wir müssen erst mal wieder zum Sheriff. Denn da sollte er sein. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you, there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor, but the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? 
<laughs> so I imagine. That bag rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Oh, das sieht echt nicht gut aus. You could try washing once in a while. Keep your eyes open. Dosen Gemüse kann man immer haben. Das ist immer gut. Oh. This must have happened recently. Oha. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet cleaned through the forehead. Oh yeah, that's My mom good says us. this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep, not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Go right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. The drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. Bear right again here. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. So was da. Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Tell you boys, what did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in '78. How handle this? Well, the way I said actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up, Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Mm, we'll take the ride. Let's stop these okay. filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea, Hush. Okay, aber ich würde jetzt erstmal sagen, das war's mit diesem Video. Wenn euch auf jeden Fall dieses Video gefallen hat, gebt mir aber sehr gerne Daumen nach oben. Würde mich auf jeden Fall sehr freuen. Abonniert auf jeden Fall auch diesen Kanal. Das würde mich auf jeden Fall auch sehr freuen. Und aktiviert auf jeden Fall auch die Glocke, damit ihr immer benachrichtigt werdet, falls ich ein neues Video hochlade. Und damit würde ich sagen. Wir sehen uns hoffentlich beim nächsten Mal. Bis zum nächsten Mal und ciao.